Negotiating an end to the war in Afghanistan will require compromises. But which compromises? What might be sacrificed? Does making a deal with a conservative religious movement mean selling out human rights, including women's rights? Probably the best place to talk about these questions is Afghanistan's Human Rights Commission. Shaharzad Akbar is the head of the commission. She endorses peace talks with the Taliban, but feels concerned that human rights were not discussed in the initial stages of the process. Our position is that throughout the process of talks and beyond, it's our duty and it's our mandate for stand up for human rights of all Afghans. That includes rights that Taliban disagree with, right to freedom of expression, women's rights for political participation, the whole range of uh, rights for women, for religious minorities, um, for non-Muslims. So, yeah, of course, there will be contradictions, there will be difficulty, it won't be easy. But our perspective is that unless we have an opportunity to talk these things out, we, we can't give up without trying. We have to have this opportunity to talk these things out among ourselves as Afghans. That conversation is going to be hard. She predicts a wide-ranging negotiation with the Taliban that questions the existing government system. It's about the approach. If the approach is that everything that's associated with the past 17 years is evil and must be destroyed, then they are not interested in peace. Right. If our approach is that everything in the past 17 years is right, absolutely right, then that's not the right approach. There was corruption, there was injustice, there were grievances, our justice sector was weak, a lot went wrong. Right? There's the space for this admission at this side. Is there space for that admission on that side? Is the question, I think. Weighing the gains from peace against the costs of compromise is always difficult in peacemaking, especially in Afghanistan. Some say a deal with the Taliban is impossible, just because of their views on women's rights and other subjects. Others say the rising casualties make a deal to end the bloodshed the very highest priority. People like Shaharzad see both sides. It's one of the toughest dilemmas in the peace process, and ultimately the struggle for women's rights in Afghanistan will last for generations. It's probably a struggle that her children will inherit. <laughs>